Hotly contested election has been extremely divisive, even among neighbors. But an election-themed Halloween display in the Northwest Valley is causing a downright rift. Yeah, some think it's funny and harmless. Others say it's flat-out offensive. Team 12's Josh Sanders went to that neighborhood. Hey there, homeowner Chad Moreland says his display featuring President Trump, Hillary Clinton, former President Barack Obama and Joe Biden is political satire, but others say it's political horror. Believe it or not, this is not a costume. Trump 2020. From his hat to his shirt to his front lawn, Chad Moreland is a diehard Trump supporter who loves to have fun with politics. On uh, election year, Halloween, I usually make a, some kind of political display. In 2012, he dressed up then Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney as Frankenstein and President Obama as Dracula. This year, Sleepy Joe Biden, plus President Trump and Hillary Clinton. Trump was able to defeat Hillary and he's planting his flag and bringing in American values back to uh, to this country. It was originally going to be like an Iwo Jima thing and I was going to pile like Democratic um, um, bodies down on the ground that he's that he's uh, defeated. But Chad's trick is not everyone's treat. You know, the black guy with the guy in the dead stretcher and, you know, that kind of thing. That's that's a trigger for some people. Bobby Kithcart says the display mirrors a real life scary movie and is offensive, even if you support the president. I'm married to a Republican. He thought it was offensive. The display also violates HOA rules because of the number of political signs. And Chad should know because his wife sits on the HOA board. But he's considering just paying the fine. He says it's all in fun and even welcomes a Halloween display from the other side. You know, I would enjoy seeing a couple of Biden supporters put a display like this up. You know, orange man is bad and whatever. I think it's it's hilarious and you got to have a little bit of a sense of humor. We're in Glendale, Josh Sanders, 12 News.